Hi, welcome to Vartech.com's in-depth video for WordPress plugin minimum purchase for WP Commerce. Wanted to start out by suggesting that you folks visit the Vartech.com website and look at all the information, <coughs> excuse me, that's available for the minimum purchase for WP Commerce plugin. There's tutorials, documentation, instructions, videos, tips and tricks. Everything I could think of to help you navigate through how to use a powerful tool like this. Documentation focuses on the plugin options page. And I thought we'd spend some time with that right now. The uh, rules options page First, firstly, has a lot of additional information available to you. You can look at it by clicking on the more info next to each one, each of these options, or click show all and you see everything. A little intimidating, but it's a good option to have. The first option regards the formatting of the actual error message. Right now, error messages in table format, similar to the uh, information that's shown by default in WP Commerce. We can switch that, however, no equals text format, and save the changes, and refresh the screen. And now you can see that it's uh, a text more text-like message. The next few options regard where and when the error messages are actually shown. The error messages are tied to a particular uh, HTML selector, an ID or class, uh, within uh, your checkout screen. And I have done it by default to the standard default WP e-commerce uh, classes. So right now the class that we've activated shows up just before the product area. We can also set up the second class, activate that, which shows up just before the address area. Now that is in this screen redundant because we've already we're already seeing it. However, there are a number of themes out there which are split into multiple panes. And the first pane will have the, uh, the, the product list information and the second will have the address. And it's important that wherever they are, they see this, uh, this error message. So that's why that option exists. So we'll turn that off and save the changes. Now, the next one to discuss is the rule ID in this little font here. That's interesting to us, uh, particularly when we're testing, because we this way we can verify positively which of the rules that we've set up tracks back or tracks to this error message. So we can see, for example, that rule ID 80 is this one. I've labeled it administrator all 500 units. And so that gives us an absolute tie back to uh, which of these rules is producing it. And it's very helpful for testing. You might even consider leaving it on uh, during the production uh, application. And that's here, yes or no. And if we flip it to no, save the changes, and refresh the screen. And the rule is it disappears. Uh, these two category based uh, options only apply in the pro version, so we won't discuss that now. And you can apply your own custom CSS real time to these checkout messages. You can change the color, formatting, and so on. Uh, you can address that directly here. And if you look at more info, it gives you an exact information about how to supply the overrides. 
and you have to supply it exactly as it's labeled here. Now, the way to identify what can be overridden, uh, I'm in Firefox right now and I have uh, Firebug and that allows me to see exactly what these are and you can see over here exactly how to address it so it's div vt min etc etc so that's how you would go about using that successfully processing options uh, dollar sign we have euro pound yen and if someone has a desire for other signs please contact me and I can introduce them uh, very quickly into the uh, upgraded version of the plugin uh, apply more than run one rule to each product. You should never do this. Uh, I discussed this here. Um, we strongly suggest it's not done because otherwise they're compound error messages. It'll be very uh, conf uh, confusing for the user. However, uh, the logic allows for it, so I wanted to give you the option of, uh, of uh, controlling that. So here we have system and debug. Here we have turning debug uh, options on. This is very powerful and this should only be used during testing because it exposes a huge amount of information. So now if we go through and refresh the screen, we see that there's a, a lot of information showing here. Uh, shows all of the arrays and the uh, class structures that are used uh, both in the rules and the cart, the checkout. This won't necessarily be uh, useful for you unless you really read the code closely. But if there's an issue which you can't resolve, which you feel is important for uh, you to contact me, you can use this and I will immediately be able to figure out what's going on. One hopes anyway. Um, so, turn that off, go back. Now, um, if for some reason these all get screwed up. For example, you blank out the, uh, uh, the, the class here and you just can't figure out any way to, to refresh it, although uh, I do discuss what it should be, default and so on. You can always reset to defaults, which is down here. And if for some reason the uh, rules get out of sync, we have a, no we have, uh, a repair rule structure button. So nuke all rules and a nuke all rule cats. Now rule cats are a pro option, so it's not really uh, uh, of import here currently. And there's a lot of plugin info, which is useful again in debugging. If you ever need to contact me, there's information there. Anyway, um, that should be more than enough for this video. Thanks very much for watching. And please do visit uh, the website uh, www.varkdeck.com. Thanks.